Good afternoon. Welcome to the Tiny Monarch. We're sitting inside the Monarch today, doing a quick update for you on what we got found out from the vet on our one pig that died in October. We took and had them do a necropsy, I don't know how to say it, an autopsy on an animal, uh, whatever the particular formal word for that is. So anyway, the doctor called us today to give us uh, an, an update, which is really nice because we're hoping to process the other one on Friday. So what they found was fungal hyphae in the kidney, spleen, and liver which is basically, let me, I'm going to read because I'm not going to remember all of it. Big words. Um, it's a long branching filamentous structure of fungus, uh, which is usually in plants. And what source is that from, Carrie? It got it from what they think. No, I mean, I oh. think. Oh, I'm reading. reading. I'm reading Wikipedia because oh, okay, that's what I, I, I edited down. I, I, I asked Mr. Google Pants, and they sent me to Wikipedia. Um. So they think it was probably called by caused by Pythium. And if you give me a second, I will pull up Pythium. I had Pythium here a second ago. Now I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that sounds funny. Here we go. Pythium is a parasitic umycete. <laughs> yeah, um, it's a fungi, fungus. Um, and the veterinarian said they usually find it in hunting dogs that um, have been going out and catching their ducks that have been shot down or geese or whatever that everybody shoots down um, into stagnant water. Um, Pythium is a fungus that grows all over the place and it blooms in stagnant water. So we don't particularly have stagnant water. So, um, and the vet was kind of curious about that. He said it was really kind of weird because there's no sign of it in the stomach, which is where you would normally see the first signs of the Pythium causing the fungal hypha, hypha Hyphae. And if it wasn't that, then what could it be? Thinks it could have been genetic. Because we had two pigs together in the same place and the other one is fine. So they found lesions in the kidney, spleen, and liver. Said the heart looked good. The lungs didn't look so good because they think he may have had a respiratory issue that was going along with it. And that's what we were treating him for. Right, that we were treating him for the fun, for the respiratory infection. Um, the dilemma with the Pythium is there is no cure for it. If you get your animal gets Pythium, it's just done. Um, but they can't guarantee it was Pythium because they can't really find it. They're only going with it because of what the results were on the other organs. But again, he said it wasn't in the stomach, which is where it should be because they get Pythium into them by drinking stagnant water. So he said we're safe to eat the pig. The other one that hasn't that didn't die that we're going to process on Friday. He says we're safe to eat that. Um, check the organs. If the organs look bad, don't eat the organs. Um, I wasn't planning on eating the spleen. I would have liked to have saved the liver. And I was really looking forward to some steak and kidney pie. But if the kidney doesn't look good I'm not keeping them and I'm not eating them um, so that's where we stand with our pig update and we will let you know so tune oh. in on Friday when we process the other pig we'll be de doing a filming that the, U the YouTube uh, is okay with thanks she was trying to mime what she wanted me to say and I couldn't read her lips so Anyway, y'all have a great day and thanks for visiting the Tiny Monarch and we'll uh, talk to you again on Friday.